Hey everybody, you may have seen this video recently of the bots flying around on the field. I'm going to show you how to modify this sequence or make your own using some tools. So, you're going to have to go to Arlbot Choreography on GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description, and we're going to follow these steps. First, we're going to install Python, then download the repository, install Arlbot, and then finally you can run it. So first, we'll install Python by clicking here. And we'll run this installer. Make sure you click Add Python 3.7 to Path. Otherwise, it'll mess up later. And you'll come ask me for help, and I'll tell you to click Add Python 3.7 to Path. You won't remember. It's OK. So we're going to install that. And then next thing we'll be doing is downloading this repository. If you know Git, you can just use Git clone. Uh, otherwise, we can simply download zip like this. And that'll download here. And uh, we'll go ahead and extract this. Extract all, put it somewhere simple like maybe the desktop. Oops, already have it. I'm going to delete that and start over. Extract. Okay, now we got it. We'll get rid of this. We'll check on a Python. Python's done. Fantastic. So I'm going to do a tricky thing. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and then right click while Shift is still being held down. And you'll get uh, open PowerShell window here. So now we got PowerShell open and it's already in this directory where we downloaded our bot choreography. And now let's move on to the next step, which was uh, we're going to do pip install rlbot. Now, uh, if pip install rlbot works, then you installed Python successfully. If it doesn't work, then uh, maybe you need to add the path or reboot or something like that. For me, it worked. It'll probably take a little bit longer for you. I still have all this stuff already installed previously. Um, but it should say successful at some point. Um, so next, we took care of that. We're going to try doing Python choreography hive. Just like that. And that didn't work at all. Why not? Oh, you know what? We have to go deeper into the folder. My bad. Let's try that again. Hit the up arrow until we get back to Python Choreography Hive. That's more like it. You should see something exactly like this. And what it's going to be doing is opening up Rocket League for you down here. And as soon as it finishes doing that, it's going to start the match with our crazy Hive bots. And there we go. So we have nine of them right now lined up to do our bidding. I go crazy looking at the ball. You can see this is very similar to the, uh, the trailer that you saw earlier. Except you don't have the uh, diverse bot appearances and there's only ten of them. If you'd like to crank it up a little bit higher, you can control C out of this to kill it. And there's some command line arguments. You could do min bots equals 35. And now you have 35 instead of 10. Like that. And it'll look a lot more like the trailer. The maximum is 64. If you start using lots and lots, like 64, then some things may start to break. Um, things are going crazy a little bit already, just because the bots didn't manage to all spawn in. But the, uh, the sequence will loop over and over, and next time it should work fine. Okay. Uh, now, let me show you how to modify the sequence, if you're interested in that. Let me go ahead and kill this again. And I'm going to look in this folder. Down in here, inside Choreography Hive, Choreography, we have Lightfall Choreography.py. You can open this in a text editor. Uh, I use Visual Studio Code for this kind of thing. 
and this is the list of things that it does. Okay, so first we hide the ball, that's why the ball is up above the ceiling. Uh, line up the cars a bit, put them near the ceiling, let them drift downward, this is when they're boosting. Uh, this is where they jump all in a line in a nice wave, and then this is where they go in a circle and collide. So let's say that we wanted the um, let's make the circle collapse a lot faster. I'm going to control click to go to the definition of this. It's a pretty short function. Um, here the radius of the circle is being controlled based on the elapsed time. So I'm going to change this multiplier to 500 and that'll make the circle collapse a lot faster. So I'll just save this and I'll run this again. And we should see that take effect in Rocket League. First they're gonna do that thing. Now we're doing the wave jump. And now let's see what happens to the circle. I've never seen this before, I hope it's interesting. Might not be though. circle should be collapsing five times faster than before and it did and it's kind of boring but I'm sure you can come up with something cooler if you if you want to dig deeper into how all this works you're gonna have to come on discord probably and we can help you out um, yeah you, you should be able to have some fun with this and make some cool looking stuff that's all I've got for now, so I'll see you guys later.